What's going on guys? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we're back with episode number 39 of our Payer Stay series. Guys, today we have an awesome one for you today. We have the Seracnus Cudgel going up against the Blessed Seradaman Sword. This idea was suggested to me in my last video by Bosk. So thank you very much, sir, for your suggestion. If you guys do want to see a specific comparison, please be sure to leave it down in the comment section below. I do keep a list of all the comparisons that I believe are feasible and that I can do. Unfortunately, some comparisons like the Dragon Defender and Avernic Defender will have to wait just because the price of the Avernic Defender is way too high for me at the moment. With that being said, guys, approximately 93% of my viewers are not subscribed. If you guys do watch these videos regularly and you do enjoy them, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe it does help the channel out a lot and i really do appreciate it with that out of the way let's hop right into the comparison so starting with the Seracnus Cudgel, it is a very popular weapon because of its crush bonus as a crush bonus of 70 and a strength bonus of 70. At the moment, the Cudgel does go for around 240,000 GP and it is non-degradable. Moving on to the Blessed Seradamon Sword, it is popular for its added bonuses compared to the regular Seradamon Sword. It has a slash bonus of 100, a strength bonus of 88, and it also gives a plus 2 prayer bonus as a Seradamon's Lightning Special Effect. And it does come at a cost of 6 mil plus 30. 2,000 GP an hour, and after about 10,000 hits, the Seradamon Sword will degrade into Seradamon's tier, which is going for about 5.8 mil, so that is where the majority of the cost does come in, and that gives us a price difference of 2,417%. With the comparison out of the way, guys, let's hop right into the Nightmare Zone. Alrighty, guys, I've started the timer for one hour. We're gonna start with the Cudgel, and I'll see you guys in a half hour. One hour later. Alrighty guys, there goes the timer for the cudgel. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the Blessed Sir Diamond Sword and I'll see you guys in the final half hour. One eternity later. Alrighty guys, there goes the timer for the Blessed Sir Diamond Sword. I'm gonna go ahead and make some final calculations and I'll see you guys for the final recap. Boom! Alrighty guys, we are back for the final recap. But before we get into it guys, the question of the day is when do you guys think that the best in slot or the top tier item prices will come down? And by that I mean the Avernic defender or dragon claws or while tombs of a mask keep those prices up permanently let me know your thoughts down below in the comments guys with that being said guys let's hop right into the final recap so up on the screen right now guys i did put up the starting and ending xp for both weapons starting with the seracnus cudgel we did achieve an experience rate of around 81,000 attack xp an hour and as a result, to get to 99, it would take me about 101 hours. Moving on to the Blessed Seradamon Sword, we did get an XP rate of 84,000 attack XP an hour, which is a 3.7% increase, and it would take me 97 hours to get to 99 attack giving us an upgrade cost of about 1,933 GP per XP. And guys, when you see a small negligible difference in the experience rate, you already know the verdict of this episode is going to be stay. Stay with the Seracnus Cudgel, you still get decent experience rates per hour, and you don't have to spend a lot of money replenishing your Blessed Seradamon Sword. And yeah guys, that is it for this episode of Pay or Stay. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and let me know down below what comparison you guys want to see next. Be sure to check out my other Pay or Stay videos. And until next time guys, peace.